Welcome to the world of Planet Play Pals, where adventures unfold and imagination calls. Planet Play Pals exploring high and low, learning and laughing wherever they go. Rhea leads the way with her map and her grin, discovering secrets. Let the journey begin. Hi, I'm Rhea. Annika's tech is top notch, her gadgets are cool, inventing and coding, she makes science rule. Hi, I'm Annika. Finn's got the smarts, solving puzzles with ease. His wit and his wisdom will always please. Hi, I'm Finn. Kwame tells the tales from lands far and near. His stories of cultures bring us all cheer. Hi, I'm Kwame. And Emily's kindness to animals and friends shows us that caring has no end. Hi, I'm Emily. So join the adventure. There's so much to see on Planet Play Pals, where learning is key. Planet Play Pals, Episode 2, The Great Water Quest. Welcome, young adventurers. Today, the Planet Play Pals embark on The Great Water Quest, a journey filled with laughter, surprises, and a splash of water magic. Hi, pals. Our quest today is to uncover the secret dance of water around our planet, and I heard it's full of funny twists and turns. Their first clue leads them to a bubbling brook, where the sun is playing a game of Catch me if you can with the water. How does the sun play with water? Does it use a sunbeam as a fishing rod? No, Finn! The sun with its warmth makes the water hot, and the water starts turning to steam. It's magical, isn't it? And this way the heat turns water to vapor is called evaporation. Hi, Rhea. Hey, Finn. Hi, Annika. We were just talking about evaporation. Oh, look what's happening. The clouds are moving towards each other. Oh! And it looks like, looks like they are going to bump into each other. Look, the clouds are dancing and, and it's beginning to rain. It is, it's raining. Yes, it's raining. This rain is also called precipitation. When water falls back to earth as rain or snow, it's called precipitation. That's another clue in our great waters quest. Do you remember the first clue was evaporation? And now we learned about precipitation, but wait, how did the evaporated vapor form clouds? Let's keep looking for our next clue. What is Kwame doing over there? Hi, pals. I was enjoying the rain. But then I saw it was slowing down, so I'm saving this rain for a sunny day. I was just with Emily. Come, let's go join her. The Planet Play pals notice as they walk that the river levels are lower and the ground is drier. Hi, pals. I was just talking to my new friend, Mr. Frog, here. Mr. Frog, where did all the water go? Follow the clues and you'll see. The water's journey is quite a spree. The pals follow the frog's advice and see plants drinking water and clouds forming again. Oh, wow, pals. I get it. Imagine the ground and plants like a big, giant sponge. When it rains, the sponge soaks up all the water it can, but not just to keep it. Plants are clever. They use some to drink and grow, and then something magical happens. During the day, when the sun is warm and shining, the plants say, ah, time for a little breath. And as they breathe out, they send tiny drops of water back into the air. Now, here's where it gets even more magical. All those tiny drops of water from the plants, and even from lakes and rivers, start to rise up, up, up into the sky. And as they go higher, where it's cooler, they start to get close and cuddle together. This cuddle party is what we call condensation. In the cool air, all those water droplets meet and stick together to form clouds. It's like when you're cold and you cuddle with your family for warmth. That's exactly what the water droplets do. Our adventure shows us the water cycle, evaporation, condensation, and then precipitation. It's like nature's way of recycling water. As the day turns to evening, and the weather changes from sunny to rainy and back, our pals discover the wonders of the water cycle through the clues nature has sprinkled along their path. Today's quest showed us how water dances around the planet. And guess what? We all play a part in this dance by keeping water clean and safe. Water is precious, and it's up to us to protect it. So, dear adventurers, remember the tale of the Great Water Quest where our Planet Play Pals proved once again that with curiosity and teamwork, there's no mystery too great, no adventure too small. 
Kwame Storytime, The Mystery of the Vanishing River. Hello, wonderful explorers. Welcome back to our very own corner of tales and adventures. Before we dive into today's story, let's take a moment to remember our incredible journey on the Great Water Quest. Our quest was not just an adventure, but a journey filled with laughter, surprises, and most importantly, lessons about the precious gift of water. Together with Rhea, Finn, Annika, and Emily, we discovered the many forms water takes on our planet. From the tiniest raindrop to the mightiest ocean, water is everywhere, connecting us all. We learned about the magical cycle of water, how it evaporates from our oceans, forms clouds in the sky, and returns to us as rain, continuing its endless journey. But our quest also taught us something very important, the responsibility we share to protect and conserve water. Every action we take, no matter how small, can help preserve this vital resource for everyone. These lessons from The Great Water Quest remind us of the power of curiosity, kindness, and action, and they set the stage for today's tale, The Mystery of the Vanishing River, where we'll learn even more about the wonders of water and the importance of working together. So, are you ready to embark on another adventure? To unravel a new mystery and discover the incredible ways we can all be guardians of water? Join me as we turn the page into another chapter of discovery and learning. Today, I'll tell you a story about a village and a river that mysteriously began to disappear. This isn't just any tale. It's a story of mystery, adventure, and learning the value of water. In a village blessed by a flowing river, the villagers never worried about water. They used it for everything, drinking, cooking, even for fun water fights during festivals. But one day, the river began to shrink. The villagers were baffled. Where could our river be going? They wondered. That's when Maya, a young girl much like our own Rhea, decided to solve the mystery. Where is the river going? I must solve this mystery. Yes, I will find our river and bring it back. Maya's adventure led her to follow the river upstream, where she discovered something shocking. The river wasn't vanishing on its own. It was being blocked by a huge dam built by villagers from a neighboring land who didn't know about the people living downstream. Maya knew she had to act. She gathered her friends and together they came up with a plan. They would teach the neighbors the importance of sharing and caring for water. It wasn't easy, but Maya's passion and the villagers' stories moved the hearts of their neighbors. They agreed to modify the dam, ensuring water flowed to both villages. The river returned and the villagers learned a valuable lesson. Water is precious and needs to be shared and cared for. It was Maya's courage and the unity of the villages that solved the mystery of the vanishing river. So, what did we learn, friends? Like Maya and her village, we must remember that every drop of water is valuable. By working together and taking care of our water, we can solve even the biggest mysteries. Now I have a mystery for you to solve. How can you save water in your home and share its importance with others? Every action, no matter how small, helps our planet. Until next time, pals, keep dreaming and exploring. Annika's Science Show, The Wonders of Water. Hello, future scientists and inventors. I'm Annika, and today in my tech workshop, we're going to discover some of water's invisible powers. Did you know water has superpowers that help it climb up and stick together? Let's dive into some fun experiments to see these powers in action. For our first trick, here's what you'll need. Food safe coloring, we need the colors red, blue, and yellow. Some paper towels, and six clear glasses that we would later need to fill water in. Now take the six glasses and place them in a circle. Fill three of the glasses with water all the way to the top and make sure that there is an empty glass between each glass filled with water. So every alternate glass has water in it. Now mix yellow food color in one of the full glasses of water and mix red food color in the second and blue food color in the third. Now you can take the paper towels and fold them up into thinner strips. We need six folded strips of paper towels. I have folded my paper towels in half as well as we need to place each end of the paper towel strips into each glass. Here, you can see how I've placed the paper towel strips. Each strip should have one end in a filled glass and the other in an empty glass. That's it. 
Now all we have to do is wait and watch. Let's pretend this paper towel is like a plant's roots. What do you think will happen? Now, this will take time, but slowly you will see that the colored water starts climbing up the paper towel all by itself. This is called capillary action, the same trick plants use to drink water from the ground. Isn't it cool? And so are plants. They have tiny tubes inside them, just like our paper towel. These tubes pull water up from the roots in the ground all the way to the leaves at the very top, even if they're super tall. And since we used yellow, red, and blue, look at what's happening in the empty cups. If we look inside, the red and blue is mixing and becoming purple. The yellow and red is mixing and becoming orange. And the yellow and blue is mixing to become green. Wow, it looks just like a rainbow. And there you have it. Next time you see a plant, remember our thirsty paper adventure and the incredible journey water takes to keep our leafy friends happy and hydrated. Keep exploring, keep wondering, and never stop discovering the magic around us. See you next time on Annika's Tech Time. What an incredible journey we've had today on Wonders of Water. Our Planet Play Pals have taken us from the depths of the earth to the heights of the clouds, teaching us the importance of water in all its forms. Hey friends! If you love discovering the wonders of water with us, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Join Planet Play Pals for more amazing adventures. And if you had as much fun as I did, give us a big thumbs up. Share our water wonders with your friends so they can join the adventure too. Today, we learned that water is not just a drink, but a magical element that shapes our world. It's a home for creatures, like Mr. Frog, a thirst quencher for plants, and an artist creating clouds in the sky. Let's remember to cherish and protect our water, for it connects us all. Thank you for joining us on Wonders of Water. Until our next adventure, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep protecting our beautiful planet. Goodbye, friends. <laughs>